Lighters up, Pisces. It's your girl, the Stoner Girl Tarot, and I'm back with another video. If you haven't already, roll up with me, light up with me, drop down in the comments, let me know what you're smoking on. If you don't smoke, no worries, you're still more than welcome. What's up, Pisces? So this is some mango kush in my uh, glass blunt. Hope you can see that. I've had this for a few years, but I just recently pulled it out after not using it for a couple of years. Um, I like it. It's cool. You have to clean it a lot. So, yeah. But, um, Pisces, thank you so much for hanging out with me on this virtual smoke session. Hope you are well. Hope you are safe. Let me put this out. Get to work for you. Let's see what messages, channeled messages, spirit has for you. Why are you doing this to me? I heard some questionable things about you. I wish you would tell me how you feel. There's a lot. Hidden information. Things are working in the spirit realm. I really want to go after this. Some of you are thinking about moving or you're dealing with someone who's moving or maybe they, you know, they won't like a change in their life and there may be some friction regarding that. So Pisces, let's get into your tarot. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, also for the Cross Watcher. Take whatever resonates. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Okay. Why are you doing this to me? Pisces, is that you asking that? Or is that your person? Or is that the cross watcher? Let's see. Why are you doing this to me? What is this about? Whatever it is, someone has major anxiety about it. Stomach aches, not being able to sleep, not being able to rest, not being able to relax. Someone wants clarity from a situation, but someone may not, may be withholding communication or information, or they're like manipulating the situation somehow with the ace of swords and the magician in reverse you could be dealing with a virgo or a gemini i heard some questionable things about you pisces what's this about somebody running their mouth about you pisces Nine of Wands in reverse talks about someone being too competitive, uh, having a temper, being braggadocious, being a show off. Three of Swords in reverse talks about um, someone heard some shit and they're going to find out either from you or someone that it wasn't true and they may need to apologize with this three of um swords in reverse like pisces somebody could have said well you know she a bitch and she stuck up and she ain't gonna give you a chance or she ain't gonna work with you or fellas you know oh he's shysty he's shady he you know and someone it's like you're gonna get a chance to you know clear your name <clears throat> Someone may have been going around asking about you, um, especially if this is someone that you used to deal with. Like, you know, how is Pisces doing? Are they seeing anyone? You know, trying to gauge the temperature because someone is like, I wish you would tell me how you feel. And there's also hidden information that I believe is going to come out as well. Yeah, someone wants you to make a change of heart or like just give them a chance 
This could also be a karmic that you're dealing with, Pisces. It's like someone is wishing, you know, come around, uh, give me stability and security. Maybe they felt like that when they were with you with the Nine of Pentacles here. Hidden information. Or if you're single, Pisces, then someone looks at you as someone who is the perfect guy, the perfect woman. Like they feel that you are a good match for whatever it is that they're looking for. And I feel like a lot of them are going around asking people about you instead of just, you know, talking to you. What's this hidden information? Someone, yeah, someone um, wouldn't choose you as an option. They think that you're very attractive. They think that, again, that you're sexy, that you, you could be like um, what they're, they could be drawn to your charisma. You know, this person just really likes you. Um, you're it for them. Some of you may not know that. So whoever you're watching this video for, this is hidden information that you need to know. Like they don't have any other options. They're not interested in any other options. Um, some of them are also coming to the conclusion like you're the best choice. What was I thinking? Things are working in the spirit realm. So Pisces, if this is a relationship that you want to reconcile, it's very likely I really want to go after this. What is this about? A Leo could be significant. Yeah, it didn't work out. You're who I want. I really want to put work into this. But someone's pride is getting in the way with the strength card. We got the three of pentacles in reverse, the ten of cups upright, the eight of pentacles upright, strength card upright. Yeah, like someone is, is they don't want to admit that you're the one. Why is that? So with the Eight of Wands, it's quick moving energy. And I feel a lot of it has to do with them not wanting to come across as being crazy, flighty, obsessive, trying to rush into shit too fast. Especially if this is a separation that happened recently. Like, you know, two weeks ago, you told me you didn't want me. Now you want to marry me. Like, what kind of game are you playing? You know, they don't want to come across like that. What next action is this person taking towards Pisces? on the floor so this is interesting we have the two of cups in reverse we have the lovers seven of pentacles in reverse two of wands in reverse someone's scared someone could have had too many um toxic relationships or relationships that ended horribly in the past they feel love for you they're just trying to figure out is it worth the risk and maybe this is you pisces like is it worth the risk me getting back with this person is it worth the risk me reaching out to this person
So just a lot of thinking that they're doing. It's like this person goes back and forth. This could be you, Pisces, as well. But this person, basically, they're going back and forth. Um, this is a lot of you could be dealing with a Gemini. This is also a Gemini card. I have Gemini, Virgo, um, Leo. What's the outcome? Best case scenario right now for Pisces and their person. Communication. Someone wanting to fix the friendship. You got justice here, so you're getting, you know, your good karma in the situation. Um, you're getting your justice. Three of Cups in reverse. Knight of Swords upright. Someone is wanting to rush in and give you some information. And I feel that going back to what I was saying earlier, someone is like, oh man, you know. I misjudged you or I, I heard this about you or something like that. And that may be the reason for them to reach out to you, Pisces. Or maybe you use that reason to reach out to them. Um, leave me a thumbs up if this has resonated so far. So these are some Moonology cards. Attend to the details. Forgive, Pisces. And I think that's the most important message of all. Find a balance. Compromise. Um, I feel that basically, yes, you will hear from this person. Um, but if you do or if you don't, you need to forgive this person find a balance um look at the details of the situation you know take accountability for what you did and leave the rest you know some of you i feel really want to make things right you don't want to leave things on a bad note with this person yeah so forgive and forget Leave me a comment. Let me know if this resonates. This is your reading, Pisces. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I'll see you later.